Hey, what is going on guys? So today we'll be taking a look at the most recent Marvel Legends figure that I've picked up here. This is the Spider-Man from the Spider-Man 2 game. This is one that I personally was really excited to get. I did not get the first one when that did come out, so I could not wait to pick up this figure. There is a shot of the front of the packaging, the artwork on the side of the box, and also the back of the packaging. And here we have the PS5 Spider-Man. First hand impressions looking really good standing there. He does come with quite a few accessories. Of course, there is quite a bit of controversy around this release. Here in Australia, this figure did release at roughly the standard Marvel Legends pricing. So there wasn't much of a price increase here. But being compared to the first release, yes, there is a missed opportunity on some of the hands for this figure. You can see there the five different web accessory pieces. And then he does have the interchangeable fisted hands. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but the fisted hands don't look like the white is painted quite as thick as the hands that do come on the figure. And in some parts on the figure itself, it does almost look like the white is a little bit thin, but it does look better what is on the figure than what does come on the interchangeable hands. I personally really like this suit design from the game, and the figure does look pretty good here for the most part. There is some parts that are a little bit sloppy when you do get a bit closer on the figure. As you can see there on the face, there is a little mark on the black line. And some of the web lines do start to cross over a little bit, but for the most part, it's not too bad there. And from the promo images, I was a bit iffy on the costume. The blue is quite a dull pastel blue. I find the lighting does help with this figure. In a brighter room, it does bring out the blue in a nicer way. But even in a darker scenario, I do find it does look better in person here. Here is a look at the back of the figure also. Unfortunately, once again, there is a bit of a mark there on the Spider logo, but again, nothing too major. And this figure is on the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man body. So as a lot of you guys know by now, really great articulation on this figure, and you do get those toe joints. To go along with those fisted hands, the hands that do come on the figure are, the right is the web shooting hand, and then the left is the wall crawling hand. Both do look great for what they are, just again would have been nice to see a full set of interchangeable hands across the figure. So overall guys, I'm quite happy with the way this figure has turned out. I will throw in the Miles Morales figure just so you guys can see how they do look together. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how they do look on the shelf with the other figures I do have from this universe. And here we have both the Spider-Man together. I think they do look really great together. At first I did think the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man body was a bit large to go with the Miles Morales. But given the age difference between these two characters, I do think it does work quite nicely. So I'm really glad to finally have a Spider-Man from the PlayStation Universe games. And I'm really happy with the way it has turned out. So let me know what you guys think below. Have you picked up this figure or are you going to? As always, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.